Normally, when you're using the USB BDMNT to program the ECUs, uh, we were using the uh, slow programming mode because the configuration is simple. Uh, in the meantime, the USB BDMNT does support fast programming, but it needs a lot of RAM. And in the previous ver version of software, it needs about 128 kilobyte of flash. And normally, ECU does not have this kind of RAM, and we cannot use the fast programming mode. And in 1.18, I have reduced the programming RAM to 8 kilobyte. And in this video, I'm going to show you we can program the ECU uh, E40 uh, for under 15 seconds because we support the fast programming mode. I'm also working on the other ECUs, but some of the ECU with the uh, Motorola MC68332 has some limitations and the fast mode does not work well yet. Uh, I will continue to look into it if it's possible to program it. With the slow programming mode, the programming time for this ECU takes about two minutes. Like in the previous video, we have already shown so, but in this video, we can see it's about 15 seconds programming. So let's power on the device and plug in the USB. Uh, give, give 12 volt. So now let's detect the flash. And we have beat down the backup here. So the previous programming speed is something like this. Erase. And look, this is 1.20, uh, new version. And let's make sure the it's erased. And the S program is the previous mode. So let's load it and At the lower button is the programming speed. It takes about uh, nine kilobyte per second programming speed. And for the one megabyte, uh, the total programming time probably will be around two minutes. You probably notice I, I'm using S programming this time instead of click this button because the new configuration has been changed and using this button will automatically go to the fast programming mode. So let's compare the configuration and configure show. You can see we, instead of the uh, S program, we take out the S program and we put this line called program RAM, which is FF. F00 and initialization we have add this line, this line, this line, and up to this line. So we have add three lines, enable the RAM. It's almost finished. So the the total time will be 1 minute and 56 seconds. So let's erase one more time and make sure it is erased before I continue on. And I make sure here is empty and let's verify, make sure it's, it is erased. So now load the RAM here, which is original backup. 
and I'm using this button, which is fast programming, it will do one extra erase as well as program the entire data in here. You see now the programming speed is about 60 kilobytes per second versus the 9 kilobytes per second. It's about seven times faster. And the total programming time is, yeah, 14 seconds. Under 15 seconds, it's done. Let's verify if the data is programmed. Yeah, so we are going to see more and more ECUs going to benefit from this method using the less RAM and programming the ECU really, really fast.